So I had a question the other day about using NX optimization to drive toward an input target, a dynamic target. And uh, so I made a little example here to, to illustrate a technique for doing that. Uh, as you may be aware, inside the optimization tool, uh, the, this target value uh, is going to be a static value. We don't have a way right now to make this uh, an, uh, an expression, use an expression here, or a variable number here as the target. Uh, in the optimization study, but it's really easy to, to work around that here, and I'll, I'll describe this little technique here. Uh, essentially, what we're going to do there is we'll have a, an input mass that, that uh, will be uh, the desired mass out there, and we'll have an associative measurement of the actual mass of the body, and, and of course, we're trying to, to drive the measured mass to match the input mass, um, but what we can do is use the difference between these, actually, to, to be zero, right? The desired difference between these is zero and, and and consistently just drive that desired difference to zero so that the target of zero doesn't need to change at all right um, so that's that's our choice of the ob objective uh, changing the objective just a little bit massaging it to, uh, to to let it do that so so I've wrapped a, a product template interface around this uh, of course <laughs> and uh, and we can we can see uh, a couple things one more principle that's in here too is this is um, this is another question that I've gotten that was about uh, how to uh, switch between, say, choosing standard sizes and, and doing a, a custom size in, inside one UI. So, so this particular one here has the ability to, to choose between several standard sizes of this is a fishing weight here, right? Just a heavy, a heavy object that irregular shape. The mass is, is uh, not, not, you know, easily computed from the geometry there with all the round rounds on it and so forth. But, uh, but there's some standard sizes here, of course. Um, and, and then we want to be able to make a custom one as well, right? So with a custom one here, the UI switches just a little bit and uh, we can put in say, you know, 56 in here or something like that. You know, we can see that our measured mass is is big compared to the target mass, and the difference here is is this 96, and this is the number we're actually optimizing on, right? So we're going to drive this one to zero. So we can invoke that optimization from the the, the product template UI here, right? Poke that and uh, and watch it wiggle here for a second, and it'll iterate a couple times, and and we'll see that converge, right? And again, we're in this using this technique here, we're able to put in, say, a 73 or <laughs> some kind of a new target, right? And, and as we do that there, this this optimizer will drive the difference between the target and the, the measured mass to zero, right? Um, so that's a, just a technique for uh, for using uh, using the uh, the uh, NX optimizer to uh, to drive toward a dynamic target, right? Uh, and again, this is the product template interface wrapped around that to uh, to, to input the values and, and to drive that uh, drive that very simply from a from a custom UI here. Um, the way this is set up, just for those of you who are interested, uh, there's there's some lists in the expressions here that describe these labels uh, that are going to be on on here. Um, of course, the measurements taking place in there uh, in the in the model history. If we look at the expressions on this guy, yeah, here are the labels uh, out there. So if we edit these, these will change what shows up in the dialog out there. Uh, because as I mentioned, that optimization target zero here is that actual mass minus the measured mass, as we would expect there. Uh, relative to these options uh, down here, there's some some standard sizes, and these I just ran the optimizer a few times, figured out these numbers, and put these into the list here as the kind of the standard sizes that correspond to those ones up above. Right, and then we've got our, our actual mass, the one that's showing up out here in the in the note. Um, this uh, I think the measured measured mass right here is is the uh, yeah this guy here is um, oh it's actually the input one the top one yeah it's just a little if statement here basically that says that if if that toggle looking for the uh, the input mass direct uh, is is on then we'll we'll use that input mass and if not then we'll use the one of the ones out of the standard list. Okay, so that's uh, that's the little technique there. I hope you find that useful.